Welcome to Bible Treasure Quest. Boys and girls, I hope you're ready to learn something new once again. And I hope you called your friends to join you and your family members. Because what we learn is always something from the word of God. Are you excited to be here? Yes. yes. Even me, I'm so excited. And I want to allow the boys and girls here to introduce themselves from my far right. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Chebet. I am 13 years old and my hobby is singing. Hi, my name is Edward Oruko. I'm 13 years old and my hobby I'm on, my hobby is playing football. Hello, my name is Mary Kerbo Randi. I am 13 years old and I like singing. Hi, my name is Elia Kimobiero. I'm 14 and I like football. Hi, my name is Gisare Kwamboka. I am 12 years old. My hobby is singing. Hi, my name is Duncan Maina. I am 12 years old and I love drawing. And I'm teacher Anne. It's always nice to meet with you. And before we do anything, we want to call Jesus to join us. Duncan, pray for us. Let's believe and pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you have given unto us. May you be with us now until we end this session. May you bless children watching this program. May you be with them. May, may when, when they watch this program, may, we, may they be with you. For this, my will pray, trust in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, Jesus is here with us. And we have something always new to learn. Do you want me to reveal what we're going to learn today? Yes. Are you anxiously waiting? Yes. And before I tell you, who do you resemble? Yes, Edward? My dad. Your dad. So you are a, ra the correct copy of your dad. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Tibet? I resemble my mother. Your mom. Wow. I resemble my dad. Your dad? That's good. Uh-huh. Mary? My mom. Your mom? My dad. Your dad? Uh-huh. Mom. Mom. <laughs> and I'm not sure who I resemble because it's just a mix-up. Huh? In my family, I'm not sure. But I picked something from my dad and something from my mom. But all that makes us belong to a given family. How many members? Do you have in your family? Six. Yes, yeah, six. And do you look alike? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, you don't. Aha, uh -huh, Mary. Do you look alike in your family? No. No. Even in speech? Yes, uh, you don't look alike in speech. Someone can speak slowly, another one is afraid, another one has low self-esteem. Ah. Yeah. That's a variety in your home. Boys and girls, today we are going to learn about I can be like Jesus. About what? I can be like Jesus. Meaning we can resemble Jesus. And that is what we want to learn. And before we learn about that, we want to do our activity. Are you ready for the spelling activity? Yes. Okay, get your letters back at home. Get your pen and paper. And can you spell the words together with us? Question number one. Question number one. Remember? We can be like Jesus. We can be like Jesus. What is it? What is it that is between us? What is it that we develop between us that makes us to talk freely as friends? What is it that we develop among us that makes us to be friends? And remember, when you are friends, you can communicate with ease. Is that true? See, that's true. You can always communicate with your friends because you have developed that. What is it that we have to develop so that we can, so that we can talk freely without a problem? And this is always built in every home. That, that is always built. What do we cultivate to build when we spend time with Jesus? What do we build? It is not uh, friendship. It is not it's friendship. It's because I've said, this is what makes us to talk freely among us as friends. What is it that we cultivate among us? As we relate to each other. As we relate to each other. Hmm? This is the bond that develops between people. The bond 
that develops between people. What is this bond that develops between people? And this helps us to relate with each other with ease. It helps us to relate with each other with ease. Boys and girls, they are really struggling. When, when we are relating together, we usually build a relationship. We usually build a relationship. And the bond is the relationship. So for us to talk together, we usually build a relationship. That is R E L A T I O N S H I P. Relationship. R E L A R E L A T I O N T I O N R E L A T I O N S H I P relationship. We build a relationship. We usually build a relationship. That is the bond that ties friends together that we can always relate with ease. Yes, relationship, not yet there. R E L A. R E L A. Relationship. Teacher, teacher, teacher. You're done? Okay. One letter is missing to make it relationship. Our next spelling. Our next spelling. This is this. Without this, it is impossible to please God. Without this, it is impossible to please God. This is a belief in something. And when you have it, it makes you to be able to please God. It helps you to be able to please God. It is the belief in something. And that is what? Faith. It is impossible to please God if you don't have faith. Meaning we have to have faith in God so that we build a relationship with him and we can please him as our father. This is something that we have to do daily. We have to do daily in order to, to do what is right. We have to do it daily so that we can do something that is right. We have to study the scripture daily. When we study the scripture, what do we do so that we have a relationship with God? What do we do to the scriptures so that we have a relationship with God? Boys and girls, what do we do? We read the scriptures. Boys and girls, unless you read the letter from God, unless you read the letter from God, and today it is boys versus girls, huh? unless you read the letter that is written from God, then you cannot cultivate a relationship with God. And the last, and the last, when you grow in Christ, when you grow in Christ, you bear what? When you grow in Christ, you bear what? When you have read the Bible, you have a good relationship with Jesus, then what will you bear? What will you bear? What will you bear? You bear what? Fruit. You bear fruit. You bear fruit. Boys and girls, we have to relate with God in the correct way so that we can bear the fruit that comes from God. And we have the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And that helps us a lot. Ready for the question and answer session? Ready with your Bibles? At Bible Treasure Quest, we go right to the Word of God. Are you ready? Yes. Question number one to the team on my left. That's the boys. Aha. Uh -huh. Question number one. And always remember, you have to work together as a, a team. We find true happiness in dash we find true happiness in dash psalms that is found in the book of psalms 11 verse 2 we find true happiness in 
dash. That is in dash, the law of God. We find true happiness in dash, the law of God. When we want to find happiness, in bound. In bound. Dash. What do we do to the law of God so that we get happiness? Yeah. What do we do with the law of God? Yes, Eliakim? When we follow the law of God. When we follow the law of God. Boys and girls, we have to follow the law so that we can be happy. To the team on my right. Mm -hmm. Psalm 77 verse 11. In Psalm 77 verse 11. How do we grow in Christ? From the book of Psalms 77 verse 11. Boys and girls back at home, I hope you have opened your Bibles and you have got the answers right from the Bible. Psalms 77 verse 11. Mm -hmm. How do we grow in Christ? How do we grow in Christ? Boys and girls, we have always to go back to the word of God. Yes, Gesare? When you remember the great deeds. When you remember the great deeds that God has done in your life, it helps you to grow more and more closer to God. Question to the group on my left. We are rescued and our sins are forgiven through who? We are rescued and our Jesus sins are forgiven through who? Edward? Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. Because he died for us on the cross. To the group on my right. We grow by Colossians 2 verse 6 says what? We grow by doing what? Colossians 2 verse 6. It says we grow by doing what? Boys and girls, all that is right here in the Bible. We grow by doing what? And you know, you have to learn to open the Bible very fast. Colossians 2 verse 6. It's always an activity that you have to open the Bible very fast. Colossians 2 verse 6. Yes, Chebet? We grow by doing what? In Colossians 2 verse 6. Yes, Elizabeth? Accepting Christ. Accepting Christ. Boys and girls, we cannot grow if we don't accept Jesus Christ into our lives. And the last question to the team on my left. When we grow in Christ, we produce the fruits of the Holy Spirit. What are the fruits of the Holy Spirit? When? Yes. Let me open the book of Galatians. We mentioned the thing. Yeah. Teacher, I can, I can mention yes, Edward. Love. Uh -huh. Joy. Mm -hmm. Fruit of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace. Uh -huh. Even he is Patience, singing along. Uh -huh. Kindness. Uh -huh. Goodness. Uh -huh. Faithfulness. Uh -huh. And self control. Oh, wow. Even they have a song for that. Can you sing that song? The, so, the Holy Spirit. Love, love joy, joy, peace. peace. Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Above there is no law. Wow! When we, we grow in Christ, we bear those fruits. The last question. When growing in Christ, nothing can separate us from what? When we grow in Christ, nothing can separate us from what? When we grow in Christ, nothing can separate us from what? God. God. From God. From what specifically that comes from God? Yes, Tibet. And it is from the love of God. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Boys and girls, we are going for a short break. Listen to the song.
boys and girls, and what are we learning today? I can be like Jesus. You can also be like Jesus. Have you ever planted something? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. What have you ever planted? Edward? A tree. A tree. You had a seedling or a seed? A seedling. A seedling. Uh -huh. Anyone else? Yes, Eliakim. A bean seed. A bean seed. Mm. And then what happened to that bean seed? It never grew. It never grew. It died. And did you go to confirm it again? What happened to it? I left it alone. You left it alone. You waited, you waited, it never came up. And you left it alone. Uh -huh. Who else has ever planted something? Yes? Tomato seeds. Tomato seeds. And what happened to them? Some of them died. Some of them just died. They never grew. And what about the ones that grew? Mm, they grew, but... You know, with the neighbors, they ruined the plants and things. Oh, the neighbors just just had to break the tomatoes. Ah, boys and girls, you see? The environment where we are growing, sometimes it can be rough even for us to allow us to grow. The way the tomatoes for Elizabeth were affected by the neighbors. Anyone else who has ever grown something? Yes? Maize. Yes, maize. maize. Did it grow? Yes. Uh-huh, it grew. What are the conditions? What are the conditions that the plants need? so that they can grow. What are the conditions plants need to grow? That is science, huh? Yes, Duncan? Sunshine. Sunshine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else, Elizabeth? Water. Water. Eliakim? Carbon dioxide. Yeah, they need carbon dioxide. They need no, carbon dioxide? Oxygen. oxygen. Oh? Oh, they, they, they need, need oxygen to germinate oh. and grow. They need what? Oxygen. Oxygen. They need oxygen. And what else, Edward? When they're young, they need shading. Uh, some of them. Some of them need shading from the harsh environment. And do you think these plants need nutrients? Yeah, yes. No, yes. Yes. Okay. What about us as Christians? Hmm? Us as Christians. What do we need to grow in Christ? Mary? The word of God. The word of God. Edward? The Bible. The Bible, which is the word of God, that's good. What else do we need? Do you think we need to pray? Yes. yes. Believe. Uh-huh, we need to pray and believe. What else do we do? Faith. We need to have faith yeah. to trust in God. Yeah. And we're going to look at that. And, that. and that is what we want to learn today. And before we learn... A story for today, we want to read our key text. Elia can read for us our key text. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. Mm -hmm. It says, In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as, Je as Christ Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. We should have the same mind like Jesus. That we should be like Jesus. Jesus. Jenny was walking down the street with the dad in town. And as they were moving down the street, and then they were closer to a, to a place where they were selling flowers, there was a lady who was seated next to the bench. But Jenny w used to admire something in dad. And most of the time, we, we asked ourselves, who do we resemble? We resemble various people. Our looks and even our character. Sometimes even we talk like some of the relatives that we have. Is that true? Yes. Yes. I don't, we don't look alike in our family. But when we speak, our voices are nearly the same. That is where people note, oh, it seems you're related. So as Jenny was walking down, Jenny used to admire the way daddy could do his things. Do you, do you ever admire someone in your family? Yes. And you wish that you want to, to, be, to have the same character like that person? Yes. Who is that? Who is that that you admire in your family? Yes, Chebet? My mom. Your mom. What do you like about your mom? Um, she's kind. Uh -huh. And she knows how to cook food. Uh -huh. okay. She cooks nice food. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who do you admire? Elia Kim? My grandfather. Your grandfather. What do you like in him? He's strict. He's strict, yeah. but for the right things. Yes. Uh -huh. And you have to read your Bible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so good. Uh -huh. 
Anyone else? Mary, who do you admire? My dad. Your daddy, why? He doesn't care and he knows how to teach. Aha, wow! <laughs> the daddy doesn't care <laughs> and he knows how to teach and correct. Edward, who you, do you admire? My brother. Your brother? Why? He has emotional, spe he has emotional speeches. Mm -hmm. And the ones that motivate you like a person. Aha, powerful motivational speeches, wow. Duncan. I admire my father. Uh -huh. He's loving and generous. Uh -huh. Loving and generous. Uh -huh. That's so good. Gesare. My mother. Your mom, why? Because she's always compassion. Uh -huh. she knows uh -huh. She's compassionate, boys and girls. I don't know what you learned. So Jenny used to admire something. The dad was always smiling to everyone, including the strangers he doesn't know. And he always used to say hello to everybody they could pass. And that day as they were walking down the street, the dad was busy saying hello. How you doing? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Do you ever greet people on the way? No. Are you no. sure? No. 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 You don't. Ah. Only the people that I know. Only the people that you know. You see? Yes. So Jenny's dad used to say hello to everyone. And this afternoon he said hello to a lady who was seated. Right at the bench next to the street. And then the lady was looking sad. And when she, he, he said, good afternoon, and smiled, the lady never smiled back, and even she never responded. Have you ever tried to greet someone who is unapproachable? Yes. How do you feel? Will you greet the person again? No. no. I will vow. I will never try it again. But you know what Jenny's dad did? They went next to the vendors of the flowers. And Jenny's dad bought a flower. And then he carried it to the lady who was already mad, right, seated on the bench. And then Jenny's dad presented the flower to her and told her, we thought that we could give you this. And the lady picked the flower and they walked down the walkway. Jenny was so curious. What will that woman do? And then she just turned back to confirm what the lady was doing. And you know what the lady was doing? She was just sniffing the flower and she was now smiling. Did it make a difference? Yes. yes. And you know that made Jenny always too long to be like the dad. The way even you, you admire someone and you want to be like that person. And today we are talking about being like Jesus. Yes. Maybe some of us have people in our lives that we may not admire. Maybe we have dads who are not caring to us and we don't admire them. Maybe we have mummies whom we can't admire, but there is someone that we can always admire and we can long to be like, and that is who? Jesus. Jesus. So if you cannot admire anyone around here on earth, then we can look to Jesus and we can look up to Jesus and we can copy him so that we can have the same life like Jesus. And what you need to remember is this. When we have a relationship with Jesus, it is like a plant that is growing. When you plant a seed, it will grow, it will germinate, and then it will grow, 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 and become a big plant. And that is what happens even with our relationship with Jesus. For you to be like someone, it means you have to interact with that person over and over. Do you have some friends that you have interacted with over time, and sometimes they make you to to do mistakes? Yes. yes. Aha, that is the effect of having a, a relationship. Sometimes you have a friend who will always tell you, let us go and take someone's snack. Huh? Mm -hmm. Let us go and do something wrong, always wrong things. And you find that your relationship with that friend has made you to become a bad boy or girl. But when you relate with Jesus, the relationship with Jesus makes us grow closer to Jesus and makes us to be like Jesus. When Jesus was on earth, after Jesus came, died for us, he defeated the devil on the cross. Because the devil was like, oh, they fell into sin. But Jesus came. So the devil was scared. 
And then when Jesus died on the cross and was buried, the devil was like, wow, I've won. And then Jesus rose from the dead. And then the devil was like, oh, so he has won. And because of that, the victory that Jesus got to redeem us from our sins helped him to be a blessing. When he used to walk in the streets, he could help the sick. He could help those who are feeling hungry. He could always be there for those who are mourning. And with that, he offered service. And even us, when we become like Jesus, we can offer services around us to the people who are around us. What are some of the services that we can do like Jesus did? What are some of the things we can do? Elia Kim. Caring for the sick. Caring for the sick. Yes, Mary? Helping the needy. Helping the needy. Edward? When you have full time, you can go and help the needy to wash their clothes, clean uh -huh. the houses. Ah, help someone to wash clothes and clean the house. Elizabeth? Um, we can visit the elderly. We can visit the elderly in our community. Anything we can do? Yes? Caring for the sick. Caring for the sick. Boys and girls, we can learn several things from Jesus Christ because he set us free. Even us, we can do something to be like him. Even if sometimes people around us and the devil may want us not to live like Jesus. Because sometimes even when we plant our crops, some worms come and they do what? They destroy the crops. The way your neighbors came and they destroyed your tomatoes. Even us, as children of God, other boys and girls may want to destroy us from living like Jesus. But we wa I want to remind you today, there is good news that Jesus gave us victory over the bad influences that are around us that Satan brings to us. And if we trust in Jesus and we accept the Holy Spirit in our lives, we can always live like Jesus. Do you believe that you can be like Jesus? Yes. yes. Do you believe that if you become like Jesus, you can make a great difference? Yes. yes. Then we need to grow in Christ. What have you learned today? Edward. I have learned that we should take care of the needy and help them as Jesus did in the past so ah. that we may be like ah. him. Wow, Mary. When we love and care for people like Jenny's father, people will love in that community. Oh, Duncan? We should resemble Jesus Christ in our lives. Uh-huh. The, and the Leah came. Jesus came to set good morals for us. Uh -huh. Jesus set an example for us. And do you think we can copy the example of Jesus? Yes. yes. Mary, pray for us that we can be like Jesus. Let's bow down for the, the word of prayer. Almighty Father, thank you for the day, that, the day that you have given us. Thank you for giving us this life once again. For you have been taught with teach with with the teacher, you helped us understand and we know that you can help us to be like Jesus. Always be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, remember, you can be like Jesus. Until another time, we want to say bye. bye.